Hi everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you a complete guide to custom stickers on iPadOS 17. They released this feature on iPadOS 17 and iOS 17 this year, and it's super fun and useful to use. All the new software of iPadOS, iOS 17, all that is going to be released on September 18th. So it's very close and I'm really excited that it's actually going to be officially alive for everyone to use. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create these stickers using messages and using photos, and also how you can use them in other apps like GoodNotes, Procreate, all that kind of stuff, how you can actually get access to these stickers in other apps as well, which is really helpful and handy. So let's get started and I'll share with you everything you need to know about custom stickers. So here we are in messages. I first want to cover stickers and messages, then we'll get to photos and then we'll get to how to use it in other apps. So first off, we're in messages here. To create a sticker, you just go to this plus button and then you'll see you have all these new sections that weren't previously there and you're going to go to stickers. All you really need for a good sticker is a good distinct subject that stands out from its background. So I've made a few here as you can see, so I just quickly want to show you. You're just going to go to this plus button here and I'm just going to select an image that I want. So here you can see this just took out the subject. It shows you kind of where it outlines and then you can go ahead and click on add sticker. And then you have your sticker right there, as you can see. And now we're gonna go to add effects and you can see all the cool effects that you can add to these stickers. So first off, we just have original. Then we have outline. So this kind of adds like a white outline to your sticker. I think this is definitely my favorite one because it makes it stand out so much. Then we have comic, not my favorite, but I think you can make a few cool things with this. Then you have puffy. So this is dependent on how you turn your device so moving my ipad around you will see the light on the sticker kind of moves around with it which is really cool and it acts like a real puffy sticker and same goes for the shiny one also the shine on the sticker is influenced by how you rotate your ipad if you do this this is i think more <laughs> of a use case on the iPhone, especially because you use it in your hand a lot. But that's how you add effects to your stickers and make them look really cute. And obviously I'm going to go with the outline one and then you're going to click on done. So then you have the stickers here. So you can access them by going here again, going to stickers and then you can see them. Or you can just go when you're typing a message, go to your emojis. And usually here they will see your frequently used where it shows all your stickers and then it shows your stickers icon and then you can go to stickers. So that is how you access these in messages or any app actually. So you can either just go to the sticker that you want, add it in as a message and then send it. Or what I feel like is most fun is you can use the sticker, hold down, drag it, and then you can resize it, rotate it a bit, and then add it to your messages like that is a sticker kind of pasted onto their message so that is really cool and i absolutely love that feature so that is how you actually use these stickers in messages as well now let's take a look at stickers in photos so i have this cute image here which is just off of pinterest and i want to select this part as the subject so i'm just going to hold down and you'll see it will make an outline of that and then you'll immediately see it shows up add sticker so you're just going to click on that to add that to your stickers and then it's basically just like you used in messages you go to add effect and you can play around with effect i actually like the puffy one for this one click on done and then you've added that to your stickers so any image that has a cool little subject you can do this with i'm just using all these cute little images i feel like these make the best stickers again hold down and then add sticker and it's going to add it in. It's so cute. I absolutely love it. Another cool feature also now is if you have any live photos, you can actually make animated stickers. So I'm just going to go to this plus button here and go to stickers and I'm going to go on the plus button and choose a live photo. So this is this one here. It's going to automatically choose your subject. Um, you can make some cool ones with this and you're just going to click on add sticker and then you're good to go. You can't sadly add any effects to this because that's just going to make it a static photo. So if you keep it as the original, you can have it live or you can turn it off or on for live if you want to. But I like that it's live. Click on done. And then you can go ahead and send that in your messages as a cool little animated sticker. Now let's take a look at how to use these stickers in other apps like GoodNotes. So I'm going to go into GoodNotes and I'm just going to go ahead and select my type tool, tap on anywhere on the screen, and then we're going to go to the emoji section like I previously showed you. So here it already shows some of your frequently used stickers if you have any. Sometimes it will just show your emojis, just swipe to this side and then it will show up. And then you can go to your sticker section here and then we'll show all your stickers. So all you need to do then is hold down on one and drag it in 
and then you're good to go it's now a sticker in your good notes file and you can put it in where you want in your planner or whatever you're using GoodNotes for. You can also do the same thing in apps like Procreate. Procreate is not as simple as GoodNotes. So if you'll see, if I go to just add it like text, if I have it here and I just click on a sticker and drag it in, it's not gonna want to paste onto the design. What I found that works is you just go to messages and put it in split view or even just this little view like this and you go to your sticker section. If you drag it from this section here, so let's do that it's gonna actually have it as a little sticker. And what's nice is this is a puffy little look to it. I added the puffy effect to this one and it stays like that in the Procreate app. And there you have your sticker in Procreate, which is really cute. And it's really as easy as that to use stickers on iPadOS 17. So that's everything I wanted to cover about custom stickers on iPadOS 17. Again, it is available on your iPhone as well, so it is kind of the same thing, but I feel like the iPad with stickers, it just makes more sense. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And comment down below if you have any other questions or videos that you'd like to see from me. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!